What's up YouTube? I hope everybody's having a great day. So today I'm at the Ibis Styles Vien Thai Khao San to review this hotel. So let's go see what it's like. I'm very happy with check-in. It was nice and friendly. Let's have a look at room 502. At the entrance there is a full length mirror, five coat hangers and space for your luggage and shoes. There is one cupboard with an extra pillow. You have a kettle, no coffee and tea though but it is available upon request. Two bottles of drinking water, in room safe and there is a bar fridge. The basin has hand wash and there are cotton buds and a shower cap. There's also a hair dryer. In here is the toilet with a bum gun. The shower has two bath towels, but there are no hand towels though. There is conditioner as well as shower gel and shampoo two in one. The bedroom has a queen size bed with two pillows. And on the desk there's a little welcome gift. I appreciate small gestures like this. And I do like banana bread. And the reading lights turn on automatically when you pull them out. This is pretty cool. The room is nice. It seems pretty clean. It was a bit dark when I came into the room the first time, but you get used to it. They also give you two key cards so I can charge all of my devices while I'm out. The air conditioning works very well. There's not much of a view though, and I would imagine the other side doesn't have much of a view either. So if you are an Ola Core member, then you get a welcome drink at the hotel. And there's a selection of soft drinks, coffees, teas, and water. Oh, okay. Just have a sing up. Okay, and you can choose a beer too. I'll have a beer, please. Got myself a single draft, which is also included in my free drink, so bonus. And you can even ask for this if the mosquitoes are bugging you. They have some here behind the counter. Right, so I finished my beer and it's time to go walk around. I must say I really, really like the staff here. They are so friendly and so accommodating. Well, that was a very nice walk. I'm sure I got some blisters. Anyway, it's time to go cool down in the swimming pool. Even the pool towels look like they just came from the laundry. It's nice and quiet here. The mosquitoes here are quite relentless, so I would definitely recommend bringing some mosquito spray. You really don't have to stay in a five-star hotel to have a good time. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this hotel. It's really nice. It's in a great location, especially if you want to go walk around Old Town. This pool is really colorful. It's a great place to take some selfies. The water is very nice, even in this weather. This is how deep the pool is, by the way. I don't see any depth markers, but I'm guessing it's about 1.2 meters deep. It is dinner time, and I'm here at the Streets restaurant, which is the hotel's restaurant, where they serve their breakfast, their lunch, and their dinner. They were kind enough to invite me for dinner tonight, and they have a couple of dishes here for me to try out. So I'm very happy and very much looking forward to trying out these dishes. We have a Hawaiian pizza, right there is a Caesar salad. These are pork ribs which apparently were stewed for two hours and some chicken satay. 
So the restaurant has to be pretty brave to serve me spare ribs because it's one of my favorite dishes. And um, I, was, I do consider myself to be somewhat of a rib connoisseur. So uh, let's dig in and let's see how this is. I like the sauce very much and the meat is nice and tender too. They definitely have my stamp of approval. So this over here is the chicken satay. It is the, uh, it's the appetizer. I was actually supposed to eat this first, but I dug right into the ribs when I saw the ribs. That's good. So here we have the Caesar salad. Okay, it looks really, really good. And they have a slice of garlic bread for you too. You can really taste that those bacon bits and the croutons are also nice and nuts and crispy. So this over here is the Hawaiian pizza, huh? How about that? Doesn't that look good? The pizza is very good too. I'm usually not a fan of a thin crust pizza, but I'm really enjoying this. But um, yeah, I can see myself sending this pizza up to my room as a midnight snack later. So my waitress brought me a beer in one of these glasses. And I said, no, 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 no ways. Bring me a big boy glass like this. So right now the Ibis is also running a promotion. If you spend 500 baht in food alone in the street's restaurant, then you get free parking. And apparently that's quite a big deal because parking is hard to find in this area. So you got four hours free parking if you spend 500 baht on your food, plus you get a free margarita pizza. So here's another promotion for the coffee lovers. 65 baht gets you a espresso macchiato Americano, espresso, a latte, cappuccino, or a mocha. 65 baht. Right, so here we have a chocolate brownie. That is pretty good, right? I could seriously eat this every day. And this is the Viang Thai custard. Very mild, definitely really, really good. I would say that if you want dessert, but you are not in the mood for something overly sweet, then this would be the way to go. Now that was Khao Sun Road. It doesn't usually look like that. There's a lot of noise, music everywhere, but no people. It's crazy. What I really want to do is give you a general impression of the hotel so far. I'm loving it. My room is nice. The staff are friendly. The food is good. I still have leftovers from that big dinner. I probably shouldn't keep this chocolate brownie on my nightstand. And for me, a big, big plus is the COVID safety measures. The best I've seen in any hotel so far. Even better than any five-star hotel I've visited. They even have sanitizing mats at the two main entrances for your shoes. I've never seen that in any hotel. I stood on one spot in the lobby and from there I could count no less than five hand sanitizing bottles in different places. As far as I can see there are three entrances to the hotel. There are temperature checks at all three of those entrances. There are social distancing stickers all over the hotel, elevators on seating everywhere. The buttons inside the elevators are covered so it's nice and easy to clean. And outside the elevator on every floor they have hand sanitizing available too. I also saw posters in the hotel reminding guests to be conscious of COVID-19. And to top it all off, if you don't have a mask when you arrive at the hotel, the hotel will give you a mask. And now it is time for bed. Good night. I had a great sleep. This bed is so comfortable. Look at the thickness of the topper on this mattress. And these pillows are super soft. They are so nice. I love these pillows. The duvet was nice and comfy too. Can I please have some coffee? Wow, what kind of coffee do you like? Cappuccino. Oh, so breakfast works like this. You have a set menu, so three options to choose from. There's an American breakfast, continental breakfast, and Asian breakfast. And then you tick off exactly which items you want from the corresponding checklist. You can check from multiple sets. And when you've had your full, you can order some more. So this is how breakfast comes to the table. Absolutely everything is covered. Knives and forks also in packets, sealed. 
Well, so far I've had of everything at the breakfast table, and I can honestly say that everything is good. Um, even these sausages. Uh, usually these hotels, economy hotels and mid scale hotels, they like to use these processed sausages. I think these are processed too, but they actually taste really good. The ham is great too. Omelette is absolutely perfect. Even the toast is good. The cappuccinos are amazing. I'm totally blown away by breakfast. So that was a really great breakfast. I could order some more food, but honestly, I'm just so full. I even came back to breakfast for another cappuccino because these cappuccinos are really good. Well, this was a great stay. Definitely one of the best economy hotels I've stayed in so far. And no, this is not a sponsored review. I actually paid for this room, but I can honestly say it's great value for money. So here's what I not particularly liked about the hotel. There were two cleanliness issues in my shower and my telephone was not working, but they fixed that as soon as I mentioned it. The torch in my room is not working either. There are not many English channels on the TV and the late night receptionist was not particularly friendly, but every other staff member was fantastic. So here's what I liked about the hotel. COVID safety, the best I've seen in any hotel. Finding a little welcome gift in my room upon check-in was a really nice surprise. There was absolutely no need for this whatsoever because I found seven power sockets in my room. It's a great, I could charge all of my devices at the same time. The location is great. Khao San Road runs parallel to the street where the hotel is and within walking distance you can also see the Grand Palace, Wat Prakau, Wat Po, Wat Arun and many other historical buildings. The hotel has a very nice pool area, definitely conducive to relaxation. This bed is very comfortable, one of the best sleeps I've had in any hotel. So dinner last night was really fantastic, I could highly recommend the ribs, definitely the Hawaiian pizza also very very good. For dessert I would totally recommend the chocolate brownie. Everything I had last night comes off their brand new menu which started on the 1st of October. Breakfast did not disappoint at all, everything tasted great. Another big plus for me was that if you are an All Accord member, then your welcome drink includes beer. So it is time to check out and this is one of those hotels where you actually feel sad checking out. It was such a nice stay, I would love to come back to this hotel. This hotel is definitely a favorite. I had a great stay for just 30 US dollars. Please go have a look at the Ibis Bangkok Riverside and the Asai Bangkok Chinatown. You can click on the links right here. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and click the bell button so that you'll be notified of my next hotel review. Don't forget to like this video and please leave me a comment. I would like to know from you what is important to you when you stay in an economy hotel.